Hey YouTube, it's Heidi and we are here today to recap what we found at the thrift stores. So if you haven't been following along, um, I have been reselling used clothing on eBay. So first let's go over what I sold in the last couple of days. That's absolutely nothing, but I feel as though that can be expected as you start to build up your eBay store. So um, it's just a process. And I've even heard that there's an algorithm that you have to crack on eBay, but I'm not 100% sure about that. And what that algorithm is, I have no idea. So first thing that I found that I feel will sell is a pair of women's brand new with tag Lee shorts. So these are um, size six and I purchased them for $3.99. And they're camouflage. So we'll go ahead with those. Second shirt that I found was a um, this isn't buttoned up, but it's a Bugatti men's long sleeve shirt. Um, it's a size medium and it really kind of smells like cologne, like really bad cologne. Um, I'm not a fan. <laughs> so we're probably gonna have to wash that. Uh, next shirt that I found. Oh yeah, that was also $3.99. Um, next shirt that I found was this nice Lacoste. It's a Lacoste sport um, size, size five. This was $5.99. But who doesn't love a good alligator, right? Um, hopefully, I don't know. I can get like 20 bucks out of this one. I used to work someplace where like we would receive paperwork. And as like you're going over it, checking it, you could tell exactly who did the paperwork based off of their cologne. I'm sorry, that's entirely unacceptable. Entirely unacceptable. Okay, Nick shirt. Um, I actually found these two together. They were side by side. So I'm thinking that they probably came in together. Um, these are pre-owned, obviously, but this is a Nike t-shirt. We take you higher. And these are like higher quality t-shirts. I checked the comps on these and these are selling for like $24 in, in pre-owned condition. And I'm not really sure that these have been really worn. And if they have, it's like little, little to no wear. So I thought that was a good find. And then, like I said, this one was right next to it. At first it was just like, are these bootleg Nike shirts? But then um, I'm pretty sure that they're not. And like I said, I looked up the comps on them and both of these are going for a decent resale value. Um, they even have like the Nike model number tag in them. So I'm not worried that they're bootleg, so. And like I said, they're a higher quality. And check out this Nike patch even on the sleeve. So I'm not sure if they're vintage Nike. I, I really don't know that much. I'm gonna have to do some more research. If you know, let me know in the comments down below. So I was expecting to hit a bin store the other day and turns out it was such a non-popular thing that they closed it. 
so um i just went to a normal goodwill these are a pair of beta brand long sleeve or long legged um yoga pants dress pant yoga pants um i would say these probably were never worn but they don't have tags so um that was a good find i'm excited about those I have purchased these myself retail. They're kind of an expensive item. Um, great for work though. And then I started to find Harley Davidson items. This is not, I should have buttoned this up. I did make sure that all of the buttons were on it. This is a women's Harley Davidson size small, which probably isn't the best, but it's a sleeveless vest with like embroider flowers on the side. Really cool. Like I said, Harley Davidson, um, pretty good pickup. I think these are probably going for around 20 bucks. $3.99 is what I paid. So. That's fun. And this other item is also a Harley Davidson item. This is a long sleeve medium. So there's that Harley Davidson medium. Um, it, it's actually a snap shirt. Like these are all snaps. Um, red flannel, red flannel is a great color. And it's not really flannel it's more of it is 100 percent cotton um but the great thing about this is all of like the harley davidson patches on it there is hardware for the sleeve roll up um it's kind of lined with like this zebra print um, there's a Harley Davidson shoulder patch that's been bedazzled. Just a lot of great, um, just a lot, a lot of really great things about this shirt. So $3.99. This other one is actually like, even though those Harley shirts were like, great finds um this shirt i think it's because it's vintage and the pattern on it is just phenomenal so this is a chico's design 72 percent silk 28 percent linen it is a size two but it's like i believe it's a women's shirt it had it was in the women's section okay but like, look at that awesome print on it. I mean, you've got all types of different cats. You've got like Unity. Um, it's just like phenomenal, the print on this. Short sleeve. Perfect for the upcoming season, $3.99. Great condition too. And, and I'm pretty sure that is vintage. Now these actually, I found these, these are new with tags. It's a pair of Cynthia Rowley, New York. Um, just kind of a nice weighted short uh with drawstrings there's there's no like retail price on these but they've got zip up pockets it's kind of a cute lounge short $3.99 this one here I think I don't know if it's technically considered vintage but it is by the brand Panhandle rough stock so this is 100 percent cotton 
but it is also a snap shirt. This is women's, obviously. But just a great little um, Western wear t-shirt. It has some nice pocket stitching on it, so that's pretty. Um, these also go for like 20 bucks, so $3.99 is what I paid for it. And I think that's it. So anyway, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Like I said, I had zero sales within the last couple of days in my eBay store. I'm okay with that because I'm building it up and I do feel as though I found some higher quality items than what I already have. So it should draw some more attention to some of the other items that I have. Like for instance, I have a pair of Nike golf shorts. Those should sell. Um, it's golf season. They retail for like $65. They're in pre-owned condition, so they definitely should sell for like $14.99 plus shipping. I mean, that's a bargain. So anyway, thank you guys so much for stopping by. I will continue to keep you updated and hopefully I will get some footage of an actual store. So take it easy. See you later. Bye.